Netflix. Congrats on the movie. It's the number one movie on Netflix right now. <laughs> it's you, Alison, what's not to love? For anyone who doesn't know, uh, tell us what's it about and who you, who you play. Oh, I play Hannah, a woman whose daughter is kidnapped in the middle of a storm, and I enlist the help of Lou, played by Alice and Janney, to uh, go on a rescue mission and help rescue my daughter. And we come from two very different backgrounds, women. You know, Allison plays a woman who's chosen duty and, and her, her duty to, to country, and I've chosen my duty to my child, and we judge each other for those very different choices in life, and yet we're forced to work together for this rescue mission. Now, you shot the entire film on location yeah. on Vancouver Island, known for a lot of wildlife out there. Any yeah. close run into any wildlife at any point? You know, we did a lot of different uh, animals came to play with us, but one in particular was such a, it was such a beautiful moment. We ran into a, a mama bear and her cubs. Oh, yes, uh, yeah, especially was... if they want to defend their cubs. <laughs> How big are we talking? How big a bear? She was massive. You know, uh, we kept our distance. She was, she was fishing, and the cubs were just on the shore watching her. But honestly, you know, the theme of motherhood is so, um, it's so incorporated into our film. And so for me, it was so special to have like this blessing from nature. You know, I don't know if you're this weird type of actor like I am. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm constantly like pulling from, oh, different things for inspiration, and that You was... felt like the bear was blessing the film. Yes. <laughs> Not Don't just... judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Christoph, you're very passionate. Uh, I don't know if people would know this, but you're very passionate about Hollywood history, about preserving landmarks that are in LA. If someone's visiting Los Angeles, out there right now for the first time, where would, where would the Christoph Waltz tour take us? Well, it's not... Hollywood history. It's architecturally um, interesting all over LA. Uh -huh. And um, I, I object to the, the negligence of history mm. in this town and in this state. Mm. And, and <laughs> I, am, I understand that a landlord wants to rent out square feet as many as possible, but that doesn't entitle him to tear down history, does it? Yeah. Um, so there is a, there is a, um, um, a society you can join, everyone can join, and the LA Conservancy, and they actually fight lawsuits um, to, to make landmarks, registered landmarks, so they cannot be touched. And I'm a member there. And um, so the architectural tour, I can warmly recommend any architectural guide that's, that you can find in a bookstore. And then you just do this and you go there. And you'll see what you see on the way there and when you get there. And it, it'll, it'll give you an entirely different perspective on this town that pretends at times to be Hollywood alone. And it's not. So the answer is buy a book and you figure it out. That's what you say. <laughs> that's, that's the answer. That's the answer. Oh. Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Yes, I do. Tonight's question is... It uh, goes to our, our guests this evening. Uh, speaking of architecture, uh, most people get confused when they're confronted with too much information. Uh, how do you each personally deal with the onslaught of multitudes of information? Switch it off. <laughs> what is it? We're going with switch it off, Reg. They ain't wrong. They're absolutely right. Please thank our wonderful guests, Johnny Smollett, Christoph Waltz. We'll be right back with Joy Crooks, everybody.